hello and welcome back this is computational thinking uh, this material is prepared for week four and it is about pattern recognition but before we start with pattern recognition let's take a very short look at the topics of chapter three we try to understand what is decomposition what does it mean to have a big problem which is a complex one and then uh, chop or separate the big problem into very tiny small problems which we can solve much more easily then we had a few examples like divide and conquer algorithm, Bunhal Chongbok algorithm, and we went through more uh, examples which you also can see and you could see in the book. So try to remember Poyas method Poyas way so if you do not understand the problem then it is from somebody else then change the words so that you can understand it show the problem with pictures and diagrams draw pictures for the problem and then make sure you have enough information and delete omit the unknown parts so this is a systematic approach to a problem solving and then you can also know how to create a problem definition now you also know a few strategies and considerations for a solution and you can explain the composition as a problem solving strategy and from here we continue with the material for week four pattern recognition uh, it's not that easy for me to put together the files right now because um, many of the materials were created a year ago when I used to put together the two parts so I was teaching theory at the same time I used the practical part that means when we were talking about the meaning of the topic we also applied the meaning of the topic the application of the topics as you know will go with programming so we will also start with programming from the second half of the semester and that part is basically uh, you can say coding programming but actually it's the application of that what you learned during the first half of the semester so and thank you very much let's continue then with chapter 4 let's also take a look at the calendar which we have now is week 4 so we have online class and quiz at the same time and then week 5 we continue with an online class uh, until now we have online classes all the time um, I think week uh, six also is going to be online class and week seven should be on, uh, also online class well 
let's talk about it later at this moment uh, the most important is that we finish with week four and with the quiz one pattern re recognition and uh and these are the things what we already did also yeah so we use the turtle here and what we use is the pattern um, we learned more about patterns this time and we will also learn more about drawings at the end i, I believe see pattern recognition uh, the uh, theory and theories about it so pattern recognition then shije hyunshire pattern sayong so how we use the patterns in the reality uh, why should we search for patterns and um, what happens if we would not search for patterns and then uh, a few samples of patterns and we finish with uh, the, this part here okay <coughs> so patterns if we move uh, forward uh, now uh, here are a few questions what is actually a pattern what could pattern recognition be? Where is your focus when you draw shapes? So pattern you find out like, let's say door. A door always has a clinch uh, t that you can uh, use. And then a door usually has a lock. A door uh, is in a rectangle shape, a lengthy one. Uh, usually higher than you are right so these are the doors what you uh, can consider then uh, what could a pattern recognition mean well uh, you know how uh, that each monitor for example has a, a certain shape the pattern recognition helps you to remember uh, these kind of shapes the brain uses pattern, rec pattern recognition also in the same way. Now, if you talk about draw drawing shapes, you have to think about what shape you draw, like rectangle, triangle, circle, uh, <clears throat> and then words like drawing and then filling, so fill, color, uh, red or blue or whatever, and then adjectives that, again, here I already used blue red or whatever so blue red then thickness of the line so these things are ob objectives so thick how thick is the line useful drawing uh, where are the similarities as you analyze the problem and begin work on its solution you probably notice that some elements repeat or are at least very similar to one another. If you don't automatically notice the patterns in solution, you should make an effort to seek them out because they are the first step to make solution more manageable and more powerful. The emergence of a pattern. Uh, provides an opportunity for improvement. Instead of them being disjointed and separated, those parts making up the pattern can usually be brought together and solved using a common approach. In other words, you can take some 
separate but similar content, uh, concepts, generalize them into a single concept. As a result, your solution becomes simpler because it contains few distinct concepts and it becomes more powerful because you can reuse it or them, or I mean parts, in other situations and solutions. So generalization is the formulation of general concepts from specific instances by abstracting common properties. Generalization is the way of quickly solving new problems based on previous problems we have solved. 이런 식으로 생각하면 아 uh, 그러면은 빠르게 새로운 문제를 해결하기 위해서 이미 아 uh, 해결책 찾았던 해결책을 적용하는 거야. So we can take an algorithm that solves some specific problem and adapt it so that it solves the whole class of similar problems. Whenever we have to solve a new problem of that kind, we just apply this general solution. Uh, if you consider an animal is generalization of mammal, bird, fish, and reptile, etc. In Korean, uh, the same which is repeat in a repetition you call that pattern so something uh what is uh, what is very similar and is uh, happening in a uh, repetition so for example <coughs> the repetitive way of sunset and sunrise then also how the sea moves okay and then uh, how the water moves, how the rain fall, you can listen, so you can hear. The pattern, uh, the reason for pattern or the importance for, of pattern is that when you are solving a problem, then you, uh, you find the problem inside uh, and then you can solve it easier based on other problems earlier uh, happened which are very similar and have been solved. And then uh, again, these solutions can be uh, reused, adapted and reused just as I mentioned in English before. So the importance of pattern uh, is here in Korean. Same code. If it happens repetitive way, then you call it a repetitive system and uh, this repetitive system you can use to make it uh, make the code again repetitive so the function here if you use then if you have already made it, created it, then you can reuse it also. 
if you know the pattern. And then the pattern, if you develop the pattern, and uh, you can, from the development of the pattern, uh, see how simple the code can be yeah, and then basically used, reused. Here is a, a scratch code. Uh, so same code I is used and uh, therefore you can create it into a single line. Okay, patterns are uh, used everywhere in the world. You see it also uh, who are using them. So um, mathematicians, if you see pi, uh, the pi uh, value itself, 3.1415, then you see so so, right? So num uh, numbers which are odd, numbers which are, uh, which are even. Uh, you see uh, the as astrology itself that uh, they created a 100% uh, detailed and clear calendar that works even today. Then the genetic engineering um, is about, for example, that's only an example. So uh, genetic engineering doesn't mean that uh, only this uh, they solve, but one what they can solve is about the sicknesses. Um, that they find and if the sickness is very similar to the, uh, the next one, what happens, they may, uh, they may find it out that they can use a treatment uh, which has similarities uh, with the treatment before. Find the reason for also uh, for a disease, then they can, uh, from the original DNS, for example, can uh, find a solution for the disease inside the DNS. Statisticians, uh, uh, they try to forecast through patterns uh, values of the weather, the results of sports events, and then the next day event or the coming up events from the financial markets. That's why they use a uh, tremendous uh, amount of data and then uh, by the data they can uh, predict and they can forecast the future. Now, if you uh, think about um, potential, example, it's for example our sailboat, which has a sail, a mast, and the body itself. You know this because you have seen many, many sailboats in the past. So the reasons for uh, finding a pattern is that, that if you um, can use a pattern, then uh, the job itself, what you have to do, becomes very simple. Then if, you, uh, Im if a pattern was emerged and was public, then you can Every time when you have same pattern in your task, in your problem, you can reuse them from the old problems.
and the more we can find through patterns the easier our job is going to be and faster is going to be to be done So why should we really f find patterns? Uh, obviously, if you don't know the patterns of a sailboat, uh, you don't remember anything, and you have to find out what is where, what do you find in there. So in that way, you cannot. Uh, you need to find uh, how to explain very generally a sailboat. Now, through patterns, you can do it. And also, you see that all of the sailboats have sail, mast, and body. That's always like that. And then you don't have to uh, consider what you have to uh, draw by yourself, how you should draw something by yourself. Now here, if you consider just the sailboat example, then each time when you uh, draw the sailboat, you should uh, think about it, how you could draw a sailboat if you don't know about the patterns of a sailboat. Uh, therefore, absolutely the time just goes up and up uh, how much you need for that. So uh, the time what you need to, uh, for a solution to draw a sailboat or to, to do anything without a pattern uh, will just become larger and more and more. So you need a lot of time, which you shouldn't use, or you couldn't use if you don't have much time. And here also, uh, for example, a list of uh, numbers can be put together. <clears throat> also, Fibonacci you, you could uh, use here uh, with the patterns. And then imagine if you draw something and you have to look for uh, nouns which appear repeatedly. And then circle, radius, position, line, and thickness. And then you also have to uh, look for verbs, so make the thickness uh, three points, like make here, for example, draw or fill, then align to the left, align to the right, so, and then the next one is for concrete descriptions, so you concretize uh, is the adjectives. Through adjectives you can create things uh, uh, more concrete and these adjectives are like red, long, smooth, rigid, uh, curved or straight and then actual numbers which could be replaced with variables. These are uh, then the generalized extractions. Draw shape, an operation that tra uh, renders the shape, then fill shape, operation that makes uh, color inside the shape or uh, around the shape if you color the line, the outline. Then the shape, a form with an external boundary. Specific shapes include also a circle and line. 
and you see the definition of the line and you see the definition of the circle. Colors are red, blue, etc. That's how it works. Okay, now also here a few examples. So the first one is what is go uh, going to be the one which you see? Uh, what do you think? So here we have a square, then another shape, a square again, and uh, another shape again, a square, then one uh, f uh, shape again, square, and one shape again. And now you think it's going to be a square, right? It should be a square. Well, it's a joker. <laughs> of course, it's a square. Uh, but the next one is, what are the similarities? What are the same? What are the similarities uh, among these things What you see here? So wheel, then a w wine, uh, a windmill, then a fan, then um, earth, then the other one. So altogether, these three, uh, six shapes we have. And what are the similarities? Now, the similarities are, first, they are round. Second, they move. Okay, about Buddha uh, Chige and Denjang Chige, I'm go not going to t uh, talk. Uh, here you see uh, the examples by yourself, so we can uh, turn to the next slide. <clears throat> The following slides actually I plan to do together with you. So uh, from here, we will work together on this issue. Thank you very much for your attention. Once again, what we did uh, talk about was pattern, pattern recognition, uh, the reasons for pattern recognition, what is pattern recognition, uh, what could be actually pattern recognition, what are important when you draw shapes, so uh, finding nouns and then verbs and then adjectives, then what is generalization? Think about that, then the first step to make solution manageable, powerful, emergence of pattern uh, which help development, and then separate, but similar concepts can be joined together and generalized. So for example, mammals, then birds are animals. Okay, here uh, afterwards, I, in Korean, we found a few uh, slides. So, dongil han gosi, pambok danen gos, and pattern, Song. Then the reasons why uh, it's important to uh, see patterns, so pa uh, the importance of patterns in that way. Then a few examples again uh, from the real life, basically mathematicians, uh, astronomy, then genetic engineering, and then statisticians, what, why they need patterns. Uh, we also talked about the reason why uh, the search for pattern is important, so that at the end, job can be done uh, in a flash uh, speed and easy uh, once the patterns can be uh, not just recognized, but reused also in other problems. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>